we decided to do a Q&A for today's video. Stop it, Zeus. We have got chips and your question. Is anything different in your relate? Okay, wait, I guess, I guess we should actually do a formal intro. Welcome to our vlog channel. We decided to do a Q&A today just because we haven't done one in a hot minute. Yeah, gonna be casual. Is anything different in your relationship after you got married? Yeah. You feel different, for sure. Like living together, not living together, whatever. I, you still feel different. The I think title, we argue the title different. a lot. I think we argue differently. Yeah. It has, what we actually argue about has more meaning. Yeah? Yeah. Do you guys take any steps to be more eco-friendly? Um, we do all the recycling that our local place will yeah. let you. They even have like motor oil collection, mm -hmm. batteries, things like that. So I, I always do our trash and stuff, so I separate that out. But we can't recycle glass anymore, which is pretty no, sad. They don't do glass for whatever reason. And then we have like low flow, we only have one bathroom in this house, but we have low flow toilet. Yeah. Um, that's probably that's probably about it i mean we don't with us being just the two of us i say we tend to try not to use more than what we need of anything really mm -hmm. um what do you two usually argue or fight about i would say the thing that we argue about the most from my perspective i get so frustrated at the way he says things not what he actually says we have so much stuff going on with this outside of work that our free time is not, you know, always like true free time. Yeah. So we do have some arguments sometimes about whether or not we're gonna go do this on certain days and like, I don't know. It's just kind of hard sometimes managing our time. Okay, Sam, what is your favorite thing about Mariah? Are we being like shallow physical things or just? What's your favorite thing about me? Your hair. Favorite thing about me that's not physical. That you're funny when you're not trying to be. I'm offended. Okay. Mariah, what's your favorite thing about Sam? Or if we're not being shallow, I really like how caring you are and like you pretend not to care a lot. Like he just has this I don't oh. care personality, but like Sam really cares. Physically, it's your face. Your face does it for me. Okay. okay Zuzu. Okay, Unless you're answering questions, dude. How do y'all reconnect after a long day over a meal, TV, filming? I'd say we're pretty good about just like spending the first five, ten minutes at home being like, how was your day? And talking. I feel like we communicate a lot. Yeah. I mean, definitely like immediately once we get home, we mm -hmm. talk and try to also like, make the first you know half hour or so just with each other before we start doing you know your your routine yeah also sam and i are still at the point in our marriage when we text like pretty frequently and i know that like some couples aren't like after you get to a certain point in marriage you don't really talk continuously but we still do all day so yeah i mean we kind of know what's going on in each other's sporadic. lives Favorite item received from your registry? Okay, so I saw this question earlier and I was thinking about it because that's hard. Because I had a favorite item, but I don't use that item the most. So my favorite, I'm so sorry the sun keeps doing this. It's like it our just favorite keeps going wedding behind. gift, is that what it's yeah. like asking? My favorite, like from your registry. My favorite is, had to be my KitchenAid mixer, but my most used is definitely the dishes. Like our regular dishes that we Use every oh night. yeah, those were a good one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the dishes are mine for sure. It's so the sun keeps going behind and in front of the clouds, so it's a little the lighting's a little crazy. When's y'all's next Europe trip? It would be the first. And like 2021, maybe mm -hmm. 2022. Somewhere in there. I'm thinking 2021. And then someone said, Do you have any vacations planned for 2020? We know we're doing Charleston. We know we're doing Edisto. Alright. Dream vacation. No, no money, no whatever goes as long as you want. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, we would go to Europe for like a month, two two months or so, and just spend like a week or two in each country that I really like want to hit. 
We need to let him out. The dream trip is we go tour all the like big five soccer leagues and watch a game and everything. Oh yeah, that's a dream come true. What inspired you to start your YouTube channel and how long have you been doing it? I've loved YouTube since I was in high school and I really wanted to start it for years and years and years and I filmed so many videos and then just went to upload them and I just was one day like, you know what, if I don't start now, I'll never start and I started in June 2017 and it was <laughs> the best decision ever. How do you balance work and private life? You work full time and manage a growing channel. I'm really good at just cutting it off. Like when we're out with friends, I don't do work things. Um, when I'm at my design job, I don't work on YouTube things. So I, I think it's just, I've gotten really good about when I'm working, I'm in the zone. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. And it does kind of suck. Cause like I've had like a, one of our friends came over one time with his daughter and I was just like, it's Sunday afternoon. I have not edited this video. It's got to go up tonight. So I just, I focused on the video until it was done. Um, so it's just time management, I guess would be the answer to that question. Like I just, I know how to manage my time and. We also have like, like you a lot time every weekend on Saturdays and Sundays. Like we yeah. always have the same time frame that we try to go take blog photos. Yep. And all of our There's friends and like, family know, like if they're asking us to do something on Saturday or Sunday, we're like, well, yeah, we got work to do. How does Sam feel about being in vlogs? I don't know. I'm still on the fence. Still, still makes me uncomfortable. Better at it then. I mean, I haven't updated my personal social media in like two or three years, and that shows how like. That's not true. You updated it with your wedding photo. Okay, going on two years. I'm not. I don't. Still. I don't know. He used to change his profile pictures a lot, and all these girls used to like it. And I just remember, like one day he changed it to one with him and I, and none of them liked it. And then it just stayed that and like Tilla's wedding photo and I was like, well, they get it now. Where are the babies? There are babies all over the world. Go find one. <laughs> we, we passed, there was a lady walking at the stadium today and she had a baby and I was like, Sam, can we have a baby? And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, good. Yeah. Keep me grounded. Like I genuinely just, I would like to know if getting married has improved the dynamic of yours and Sam's relationship. I'd say absolutely. I'm telling you, the first time you get to say the word husband, like apart from your wedding day, like where's my husband? Oh, this is my husband. You're like, oh, it's a big deal. It yeah. does. Uh, also with working all the time, how do you keep the relationship fun and spend it all time? We know that like on Sundays and Saturdays during like, we have these like windows where I usually like to try to watch a couple soccer games during the weekend. Mm -hmm. I watch usually two, sometimes more, depending on who's playing and whatnot. And like during those times, I'll watch the game, she'll film. And so that it's like, yeah, she's not gonna watch soccer, I'm not gonna be interested in it. I'm not gonna just sit in the room and stare at her while she's filming. So it gives us each, yeah. we get to do what we wanna do. And then come back together. Done. Yeah, and then Sasha. We spend a lot of time together though. Like pretty much Doing errands together seems to be like yeah. I know sometimes it for convenience sake it's like I'm on my way home from work I'm just gonna like Stop go, by and, the store. go in the grocery store and get uh -huh. something or whatever but like like go in and get that one or two things don't make it your whole like I'm gonna spend two hours at the grocery store and get my entire yeah. week's worth of groceries because and when we were kids actually we went to the grocery store with my parents for that very reason because my parents didn't want to split up and have one at home watching the kids while the other one out. They were like, we're gonna spend time together, so guess what, you heathens are gonna come with us and you're gonna learn how to act in public. I, I stayed home and watched my three little brothers when my parents went. Yeah, like, but parents that's went how, together. Yeah, that's how yeah. I, or I went during the week and my mom would stay home yep. with my three brothers. Um, do you guys have debt or follow a specific get out of debt plan? Heck yeah, we have debt. We both went to private colleges. Student loans. Yeah, that's it. Car, one, one car. car. Not in my name. But so, it is ours. I mean. Yeah, so that's it. And we're paying off something I don't know if we've ever actually said on camera. We use our money that we make from YouTube and blog for our debt, for strictly that. So we take our income that we make 
um, and that goes towards our bills and then the minimum payment on everything and then what we make from YouTube and our like the blog is just extra Ex excess payments yeah. yeah and that's how we were able to pay off like a um, bunch of medical bills last year mm. I know I keep having I kept having emergency surgeries um, the car payment will go off, you know pretty quickly for that reason so we do have debt however i would like to say it is not near as much as some other people i remember in college they made us do this it was terrible it was like two days before graduation they demanded that we all do this thing um or you couldn't walk at graduation and i remember then they got up at graduation and were like 100 percent of our students took this course to help them better themselves after graduation i was like you mean that thing you made mandatory converse was notorious for doing that um, they'd go, it's mandatory, and then they'd be like, we had 100% of our students do this. Oh, but, they, they had a special class at Walford that they made the athletes take, and it was literally, like, it's not a big school, granted, Yeah. but they had every athlete on that school from all the teams attend one meeting in one room at oh, the yeah. same time. And they talked and about their a, approval. It was a lady, yeah, it was a lady that was a Walford graduate that now works at a bank mm -hmm. and is a loan something something court and that's her job is she handles like long and she was the one that came and like made us sit through the class oh yeah well we i remember i was sitting in class and i had just discovered how much debt i had and for to be a private college i was very fortunate like my parents paid for what they could and then i got um a good portion of school and scholarships so i had a tiny fraction compared to some other friends and i was sitting there and i was like sobbing in class i was like i'm just so stressed out like I don't have a job yet and I have all this debt. And one of my friends looks at me and I'll never forget it. She goes, Mariah, I have $50,000 of debt for one year of the four years that I was here. So please do not come at me with your tiny little debt amount that I had for all four years. At that moment, I was like, oh, there are people. And like, I had friends who had like 60,000 for four years and some who had 50,000 just for one year. And I had a like eeny teeny tiny amount less and so i was like okay i'm done complaining so yes we do but we are getting rid of it i knew people at walford that were taking the full fifty-five thousand loan every like i could not imagine that no did you work while in college if so what did you do you did we both did you worked during the summer they mean like we, we during both, the year. no we worked during the year too. that's right we did we worked at a restaurant together so i worked all four years um i did like a work study i guess the first two and then they only paid like once a month and it was nothing so i finally was like whatever if i'm gonna work i'm gonna real, make real money and my junior year i was a, a waitress until i turned 21 that i was a bartender if you are a female and you are 21 go be a bartender i wish i would have kept better records of how much money i made as a bartender you make bank as a bartender especially in college especially if you like to talk to people it gave me a really good backbone like i was able to just tell people to like shove it if i needed to um it, it oh the money was so good so and then yeah you worked summers and then you worked at the same restaurant i did yeah we worked for the last restaurant. two years i did not work so I worked every summer and like holidays. In and, the fall and semester, you didn't work in the spring. I remember couldn't that. work in the spring because yeah. of track, but um, we we were I mean, I on our work, own though. I don't think I worked my junior and senior year. I didn't work during the school year. Still worked the weekends and summers. Yeah. And things. But then my senior year, she was already graduated working full time, and she kind of yeah, told it, me. It yeah. was, I wasn't making was, enough to make it worth. Yeah, it wasn't a huge deal. It was putting a lot of strain on him to be an athlete, a, a worker, and a student. And so I was just like, what's the most rewarding thing in each of y'all's daily routines? Cooking dinner. I have gotten, my cooking skills have come out lately. And now I like enjoy making a good meal, eating it, it being good, you liking it, and then cleaning up after. I feel like I've like, I'm like, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Mine's feeding the animals. <laughs> the reward when you feed. Uh, if y'all have never like seen it on camera, we'll have to get it one day. Allie comes out screeching. Nah. Whether the bowl is nah. full or not. Yeah, she screeches. She for wants food. food. And as soon as you give it to her, she's like the happiest little cat. Yeah, like, she's so fo she's so bad. All three of them. Harley said, tell the vlog I said hi. So Harley says hi. Where have y'all traveled as a couple? Any destination recommendations? 
Barbados. Barbados. Yeah. Barbados was cool. That was really cool. We were on a high though after our wedding. I feel like if all those travel issues would have happened now, I'd just be so annoyed. We were on this like newlywed high that we couldn't even focus. Um, and then we've done like Florida, Charleston, um, nothing crazy, but we definitely have those plans in the future before babies. How has marriage been for you so far? Good. I mean, we're coming up on two years. Mm -hmm. Good. No, no complaints for me. It's definitely made the right decision. What's your perspective on getting engaged early? I don't know what I don't know what you mean early. We were young. Not, not really. I see. I don't think it was early. Like I don't think it, we were that young. I don't think it was like. You have to think though, like out of my entire, I went to an all girls school with the Converse and out of my entire class, the number of us that graduated, like engaged or soon after that got engaged was so tiny compared to the actual size of the class. Like I feel like people are just now getting married that are like 27, 28 and you and me are 20, you're about to be 24, I'm about to be 25 and we're heading into year two of marriage or ending year two of marriage. I guess. I mean, I don't. I, I don't think we were young still, so I don't think it's. A, it's not like we got engaged and married at nineteen, all within like two months. What did people think when you got engaged and were like a sophomore in high school? I mean, in college. That would be a problem. <laughs> what did they think though? I think yeah. overall it was like pretty positive. I mean, some of my friends were like, obviously, like the guys, were like, oh, you're you're getting locked up so soon, this, that, and the other, and all you know, whatever, stupid guy stuff. Yeah, but I mean. I think for the most part, everybody was pretty happy and we'd already been together for long enough long at that time. point that- You didn't party on the weekend, so it's not like, you know, you were gonna oh, get married and then no more partying, yeah. yeah. Where do you guys live? I always just say, upstate South Carolina. Cause that's a pretty broad. I'm getting married this year and trying to afford everything with no savings, any tips. How far away is your wedding? I know you can't so, answer the question. That's. We always say if you're paying for it yourself, the longer the engagement, the better. Because you can save up. But I mean, I think just know your budget. Put a budget towards each thing. That's what I tell people. A lot of people ask what our budget for the whole wedding was. We had budgets for each thing. Like my parents sat down and said, we'll let you spend this much per vendor. And that was how we budgeted it out. And so we knew like, you know, we wanted a videographer, a photographer, and all these things, and then this was the overall budget, so we needed to allot certain money to each one. Definitely, if I mean, depending on if you've already got your stuff picked out, some of the places that you can, like, the venues and things, they kind of force you into contracts where you have to use certain caterers and things yeah, like that. Yeah, but they'll give Defin you a discount. Sometimes. Definitely look and, like, consider that in pricing, because if you can get somebody that'll let you, like, host they cater and do everything for you know like five thousand or something yeah but somebody else is just going to give you the venue for four but then you got to pay five thousand yeah cater, like, obviously it's worth it to do the join yeah even if it might not be like you know don't skip out on a photographer and video do not skip out on those because those are our two favorite memories skip alcohol that's you, all have we have left something. yeah but i would give up like and our wedding cake was amazing but i would give up my wedding cake before i'd give up that video like that's how serious I am about having a videographer and having a photographer yeah, because wedding cakes aren't crazy. I mean, as long as you're trying to make a wedding cake, cake for like 500 people, it's our wedding cake nice. was so good. Yeah, our wedding cake was not expensive. Cut, cut alcohol all. if you're like, yeah, that, alcohol can be very expensive, especially if you're trying to do it as like a full open bar. It can get very pricey. Yep. Cut alcohol and then any of the extras. So like, a, if you want to have your bridal party take a bus from like where they're staying to the venue, like cut that out. Yeah. They can drive their own car. Instead of getting individual centerpieces for the tables, because our bridesmaids wouldn't be, um, they would be down at the reception with everybody. So like everyone would go down together. We took the bridesmaids bouquets and they were actually centerpieces for some of the tables. Instead of buying extra centerpieces for the tables. $20, $30 a piece of that, so. It does add up. Do you own your house? No. no. But we plan on buying the land one day and building on it. And that's it. Well, it's not bad. It was pretty long. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just enjoy doing the Q and A's every now and then. I feel like we're so far away now that I'm like leaning up in the camera. But we're pretty much an open books top. <laughs>
<laughs> we're pretty much an open book. Um, so if you guys ever want to just know anything, you know, I always just say DM me on Instagram. No, not where we live. Don't ask. Yeah, don't ask us where we live. <laughs> we are, we go to strategic lengths. Um, just because I'm a creepy creep and I can find like any, there are, there are maybe only two or three YouTubers that I've been like seriously on the hunt for whose address I can't find, but I, I know how easy it is to get a hold of somebody's like personal information and all that stuff. So we have gone to great lengths to make sure that can't happen. And we're very lucky right now because we're renters. So our home is not a public record. Um, but you know, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You want to see the vlog make me very uncomfortable. Somebody finds out where we live. That would, that would be... <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So I've got a main channel video to film. Um, and I keep saying I, I want to cook dinner because I think it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. It's three. Yeah, it's three o'clock. Um, so we're going to close this out here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we'll see you guys in our next vlog.